because right now it's difficult for a clinician, a doctor to know who needs prostate surgery, who needs a biopsy, and how best to treat them. Well, our technology um, lends itself very well to that. And uh, through a very simple blood test, uh, we believe that we'll be able to show clinicians specifically who needs exactly what kind of treatment and whether they're, they're likely to respond to that treatment. Cancer is the second leading cause of death for seniors. Breakthrough developments are rapidly taking shape and one company in particular has secured patented technologies that could save millions of lives. This is an early stage investment opportunity that could yield fortunes, not just for investors, but for families all across the world looking for precise treatment technology. Learn more about this opportunity at crushthestreet.com 3D 2017. Hello, everyone, and welcome in to CrushTheStreet.com. And uh, today, here at Crush The Street, our goal is to help people prosper and thrive. And uh, we're going to have a discussion today with someone very well connected in the medical space. And it's going to be a follow-up interview to what we're calling our number one pick, our stock pick number one stock pick in the medical space for 2017 and uh, the trend for medical technologies as we continue to see more and more baby boomers retire and enter their elderly years is here to stay and 3d signatures is an early stage co company honing in on advancing the technology precisely to diagnose and treat cancers and mental illnesses, huge implications for patients, doctors, insurance companies, even pharmaceuticals. And I'm here today with the CEO, Jason Flowerday of 3D Signatures, and he's got an extensive life science and leadership experience, including over a decade of working for two of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies, uh, one of them being Johnson & Johnson, and he is the CEO of 3D Signatures. Uh, lots of exciting things to talk about. Jason, thanks for coming on the show with me today. Ken, much appreciated. Thanks for the opportunity. Looking forward to uh, hopefully bringing a little bit of light to, uh, to what it is we're doing at 3D Signatures. Well, let's start off with the second biggest killer here in the U.S. It's a pretty big deal, cancer. And uh, how concerned or, you know, why did you guys decide to hone in on uh, cancer? How big of a deal is this? Well, Ken, as you, as you just mentioned, um, you know, a, an enormous unmet medical need in terms of cancer and the impact it has on, on folks you know, folks I know, um, and people around the world. And the opportunity for 3D Signatures in, in looking at a, a wide array of cancers was really to help patients um, ultimately live longer and uh, live uh, with a more targeted approach to their care so they could benefit um, from the care that their doctors, their clinicians, their nurses want to bring to them. And so our technology helps, uh, helps do that, and, and that's the goal that we're pursuing. Um, and uh, I'm happy to tell you more about it. Well, I mean, the other side of the equation, I know a mental illness is a big focus uh, for you guys as well. And I want to get into some of the specific cancers and mental illnesses that you guys cover here. But uh, specifically, just to s start off uh, with the mental illness, you know, man, I was talking to my barber just the other day and, you know, he was telling me how when you get older, the two things you want to focus on are your physical health and your mental health. It's not your looks anymore. And mental health is not something that uh, people pay attention to very much. But, you know, how big is mental illness? We talked about cancer being the second biggest killer. Uh, how, how important is mental illness? And how big of an issue is it here in the Western world? Well, Ken, it's, it, it's enormous. And, you know, in particular, um, where our focus is in terms of mental, mental illness is, is Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's affects a growing number, a uh, growing proportion of people. And, and earlier and earlier, is having devastating effects on the quality of people's lives and how that affects their families and how long they live. Um, and so we feel that uh, our technology holds a lot of promise around uh, potentially uh, identifying patients with mental illness, in particular Alzheimer's disease or, or mild cognitive impairment early on in life and, and hopefully 
the therapies and the treatment options um, will advance to the point of being able to help patients live uh, more normal lives and, and, and less affected um, mm-hmm. by diseases like Alzheimer's. And one of the, the, as far as going back to cancers here, one of the markets you're targeting here is prostate cancer. And I mean, if you want to give us a little background as to, you know, what is going on with prostate cancer and how you guys are honing in on it and what, what you have to offer with this specific illness that so many are dealing with. Yeah, I, again, I think we probably all know folks that are affected by, by prostate cancer and uh, not, if not directly, indirectly through others. And it's an enormous disease, uh, particularly in the U.S., but around the world. The disease is, is fairly well diagnosed, Ken, in that you know most physicians and, and, and most patients who are at risk of, of prostate cancer get screened and, and they get flagged for it. A simple uh, test that's available today, a, a PSA test. But what 3D Signatures is, is aiming to do is to really bring better tools um, and better information to patients and to, cl- to clinicians that, that isn't currently available to them. Because right now it's difficult for a clinician, a doctor to know who needs prostate surgery, who needs a biopsy, and how best to treat them. Well, our technology um, lends itself very well to that. And uh, through a very simple blood test, uh, we believe that we'll be able to show clinicians specifically who needs exactly what kind of treatment and whether they're, they're likely to respond to that treatment. And the hope is that we'll be able to spare tons and tons of men from unnecessary biopsies, which have a risk of infection, uh, and ultimately uh, make sure that the appropriate pe- patients are getting surgery and more advanced treatment. But mm-hmm. those patients who don't need treatment well, they can afford to wait because prostate cancer really, it, it isn't a disease that, that kills everybody. Most men live fine with prostate cancer, and we can show that um, with, our, with our test, with our biomarker, which patients don't need surgery, which patients don't need more intervention. And I think that's the personalization of medicine um, that 3D Signatures is focused on. Yeah, no, that's uh, really interesting, and especially, you know, being able to precisely diagnose and uh, this one-size-fits-all that, you know, I guess is, is out there. I mean, obviously, you're, you're much more familiar with this than I am. Uh, you know, another type of cancer that you guys are honing in on here is Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, I think that's something a lot more people may not be as familiar with. If you would, uh, give us a little background on this and, uh, you know, what's your approach for uh, tackling on uh, this specific illness? Hodgkin's lymphoma is, is um, you know, a, a lesser known uh, but very devastating cancer and uh, is, is diagnosed generally at about 39 years of age. And, but when you're diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, the five-year survival is, is, is about you know, 86% uh, of, of, of people um, won't live beyond five years. And therefore, there's a tremendous unmet need here that 3D signatures uh, is able to address. You know, it, the disease affects about 10 or 11,000 people in North America each year, Ken. But what our technology will allow um, a patient and, again, a clinician that's looking after these patients to do is really understand which of the standard chemotherapy regimens, so the traditional um, therapies that, that are used in this disease, which ones will work and ultimately which ones probably won't work. And so that the patient doesn't have to go through several courses of chemotherapy and all the side effects and being in and out of a hospital. And we'll be able to identify which patients should receive a second line, a more targeted therapy uh, that's more effective uh, against the disease. And we, we do that in the same way that you know, our technology works across every disease. Uh, we're able to look at the, the structure of a patient's DNA. And the DNA is what you know determines our height and our 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 you know, color of our hair and the color of our skin. But when you look really carefully at that structure of DNA in three dimensions, it tells us a lot about a patient's disease and how aggressive it is, and whether they're likely to respond to one therapy or another. And that's how we that's how we help patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma and and all the other cancers that we look at, Ken. Jason, how early in the game, you know, is 3D Signatures, and specifically, I mean, for for people interested in, you know, partnering up with you guys, you know, where is the company now, and, you know, where do you guys expect to be, you know, a year, two, three years down the line? 
Well, 3D signatures is is really not as early as um, you know some people think. The company has benefited from 20 years of research and development, Ken. And to date, uh, there's been about $30 million invested into the company, developing uh, the technology today, which uh, allows us to uh, to look at cancers. And as I explained, uh, identify who will respond to one therapy or another. Um, but in terms of some of the important milestones and where we're heading over the next year or two, uh, there are a number. Uh, there are a number of clinical trials that will help our products get closer to approval. Uh, and these are assays uh, that we talked about for prostate cancer, for Hodgkin's lymphoma, and other cancers like multiple myeloma, lung cancer. All of these cancers um, represent a, a huge opportunity, and uh, we're talking with clinical lab partners uh, around the world now to help us bring these products to patients over the next few years. The other important focus of our uh, business strategy is developing collaborations with pharmaceutical companies. You mentioned that uh, I spent a number of years working in uh, life sciences space, in particular for a couple of big pharmaceutical companies. Well, they need new tools as well, tools that will allow them to better understand which of the drugs they're developing is, is likely to be effective uh, against new diseases like the cancers we've described today. And um, that's an important area where we're focusing, and, and we think that'll be a significant part of our business and of our revenue going forward. Mm. collaborating with uh, world-class pharmaceutical companies and then bringing our uh, diagnostic uh, assays, uh, prognostic assays to market and uh, personalizing the, the management of these, these various cancers. So over the next couple of years, uh, we'll continue to uh, make significant inroads and uh, generate uh, revenues uh, in those two channels that I just described. And, and compared to other companies, I mean, are there other companies out there doing what you guys are doing? Or are you guys unique? Obviously, you, you got a lot of patented technology that you guys have. And uh, where, where does this put you compared to everyone else out there? It's really powerful in terms of um, how differentiated and unique 3D Signatures is, Ken. Um, there's no other company that is leveraging uh, the three-dimensional analysis of telomeres. Uh, that's uh, a very you know, a specific region of the chromosome of the DNA that I described earlier. When you look at it in three dimensions and you combine it with a software program that we've developed that helps analyze the stability of the chromosomes, what you find is a very unique uh, opportunity that the 3D Signatures has honed in on and that nobody else is uh, is using. And so it distinguishes us from many other companies that are trying to advance the field of, of, of cancer, of medicine, and, and personalizing treatments. Uh, and so to the best of our knowledge, no one else is looking at uh, three-dimensional telomere analysis with a software program really being the engine um, behind what it is we do. Mm. Uh, and, and so it's a, you know, it, it's, it's a powerful combination of, uh, of, of, of opportunities here. So, Jason, I want to ask you this question, you know, being on the inside and, uh, you know, the pharmaceutical industry, what do you anticipate people's experience in, let's say, 50, 100 years? I mean, is, do you see cancer as something that will come under control and mental illnesses? I mean, are people going to be living well into their hundreds? Uh, just any insight on what to expect with medical technologies as we go down the line here? Well, Ken, I think, you know, we've seen such progress made across so many different diseases. Um, you know, I think if you look at something like AIDS and HIV and, you know, the diagnosis of that disease years ago was almost a death sentence. And today, the progress that has been made is allowing people to live, um, you know, near normal lives. And so if you look at cancers and, 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 and mental health disorders like Alzheimer's disease, my expectation is that with new therapies and targeted therapies, that will allow patients to be identified and treated much earlier uh, with drugs that have fewer and fewer side effects. Um, the benefit to patients and their families will be enormous. And uh, you know, you talked about 50 years down the road. Um, I, I think we'll see patients living uh, much healthier, much longer lives um, because of the advances that are being made in the ability to diagnose these patients mm -hmm. and treat patients. Um, much more effectively than we are today. So a really exciting field and, uh, you know, one that 3D Signatures is, uh, is proud to be on the forefront and helping to shape that, uh, those treatments and uh, the personalization of medicine. 
Hey, well, that, that's great. Uh, everyone, that's Jason Flowerday, the CEO of 3D Signatures. Uh, Jason, I, I really appreciate you coming on the show and sharing your insight on this incredible technology. And I'm really anticipating where this will go and how things will unfold. And I'm expecting an incredible 2017. So again, thanks for coming on the show with me today. My pleasure, Ken. Uh, thanks for your support. And we're looking forward to a great year ahead as well. All the best to you.